Hey guys, it's May May, and you guys will have seen our new release that's called All About Her, that has all of these names for all of the hers in your life, and these gorgeous poppies. I set a challenge for myself to go shabby chic. I'm going to go all out shabby chic. Let's see if I can do it. Every now and then we need to challenge ourselves, right, to do something outside our comfort zone. So I picked these two packs. There is no red in sight. You could call that red, but it's really not. We're not going to touch it today. We're going to use these pretty light colors, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Misty today, and that is because I'm going to be stamping this multiple, multiple times. I really don't even know how many times I'm going to stamp it. We're just going to get it ready for stamping. So I'm going to load it up in my Misty. I do not plan to use any coloring. I plan to do paper piecing, right? I feel like that's very shabby chic, and so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stick this guy down here like this, and now I am going to ink it up. And since I'm not going to be doing any coloring, I'm going to use my Onyx Black, which is pigment, and that way I'll get a nice dark line. So when I cut them out, you'll be able to see that as well. So I'm going to stamp it on about four or five different colors. So this green, actually, before I do that, is this the color I want or do I want the other side? Yeah, the green. So this green color is going to be sort of my base. It's going to be what I use for the leaves. So I'm going to build on top of it. I say that. I'm not exactly sure. I have this idea in my head, and I don't know if I'm going to do it individual pieces, like if I'm going to cut all these little um, leaves and things out. I really don't know yet. So let me get all my stamping done and then we'll move on to what I think is step two. Now for the next step, me and my scissors are going to become friends. I'm going to do the greens last because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to, that may not be a green. I may use that as a flower and let this be green. I don't know for sure if I'm going to cut every single one of these little guys out or what. So I'm going to start with these and I'm going to cut out the flowers first. So I want to harvest every flower from here, okay? I might even, and probably will, grab these little guys right in here. So you've got a big poppy, a bigger poppy, another big poppy, and then these little, like, blossoms. So I'm going to go in and cut those out of every sheet. So we could be here a while, but that's okay. And I want to tell you something that I really loved. So we opened our retail store on uh, Monday of this week which you'll be seeing this the week after, but we opened on Monday of this week and we got to visit with so many um, subscribers that drove in to spend the day with us, which was such a blessing. But one of the things is I love the diversity of you guys. So it's hard for me on YouTube to know exactly what video everyone wants to see. And some videos get more views and some videos get less views. And some of that, I chalk that up to me not knowing how to market my videos very well, which is a thing as well. But it was funny on Monday, we had 11 folks, 11 customers come in and every one of them were so different. And it so inspired me. And I'll tell you why. It inspired me to not stress as much about the content of my video. And don't take that wrong. Just let me say this. I know that what I'm doing speaks to different people at different times. What it means for you guys, the viewers, is you just never know what you're going to see in a video that inspires you. You know, like um, one of the sweet ladies I talked to, she was our beautiful redhead that came to visit, absolutely gorgeous. She told me she loves to fussy cut, and we were talking about where that came from and how she fell in love with it. And she's like, I have elements cut out that I haven't even used yet because I enjoy sitting and cutting. It's, a, it's like our hobby is the cutting part. And it was so funny because I thought so many of you are on the fence about fussy cutting. And some of you don't fussy cut because of, you know, hand dexterity issues and things like that. But uh, it so inspired me to just, just go with it. Just make what is in my mind at the time, not worry about trends as much, not worry about uh, what YouTube is telling me I'm sh I should be posting or how I should be posting it, but instead just to know that all of us craft so differently. And what I love about our community is that we can craft so differently, but we can still come right here to this hub and we can all kind of craft together or learn something new. And even if you're like, I'm not really into shabby chic, I guarantee you something I do today will inspire you for something that you do. Because crafting is just, is the art. How we lay it out is our style but the crafting part is where we learn our techniques and things like that. So, so inspired this week um, by everybody that came to visit. It was just awesome. We're still having visitors. I, we had some yesterday, but I wasn't here for them, um, unfortunately. But um, it's just so cool to see how varied all of our styles are and what we love the most. 
Um, some people are all about the tools. Some people are all about the technique. Some people are all about the colors. Uh, some people are all about style. Some people are all about cards and some are all about albums and <laughs> some are all about t-shirt making with the cricket. Like I, it's so funny because, um, I'm just talking, it's just story time and then we'll move on. I promise. But it's funny because I posted cricket videos last week. And the reason I did that, two reasons is we were so busy getting the store ready and I could put out cricket videos quicker, especially those videos, than I could crafty videos, but I didn't want to miss my schedule. Y'all know how I am. So I thought I'd do the things I'd been promising and I got those done for you. But the funny thing is they don't get as many views, but yet if I sell a class, the class will sell out virtually every single time. And it's just, it's just interesting to me how I have let, um, views kind of dictate what I put up on my channel. And I'm not going to do that anymore. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let my creativity do it because I think it speaks to everybody. Tell me in the comments below what you do, like what's your craft. And I want everybody to, I challenge you guys to go down to the comments and look and see how many people do so many things different than you do. And tell me too, like, what's your style? Are you shabby chic? Are you clean lines? Are you certain colors are your favorite? Um, do you steer clear of styles? Is there a style you're kind of iffy of? Listen, this is not, not the fussy cutting part. I love to fussy cut. The part that's not me <laughs> is the colors I'm going to use today and the style I'm going to do. Now, I know some of my styles will be in it, but some of it won't. But I want to talk to you guys about it. I want you guys to tell me in the comments, um, what's your style? If you came into my store, what would be on your wish list? What would you be, what would you be picking up? What, and, and I say that because most people that come in have their little list. Like what would be on your list? I think that inspires me so much to want to create for you guys. So open up, chat with me about that. All right, let me get a couple of things cut. I may come back with another story time. You know, as I'm sitting here, I get to thinking and I may come back and, and want to talk to you a little bit more, but let me cut some more and we'll get right back together. So I'm on this last cut and I just realized something I think might be a fussy cutting tip. I put my fingers all the way in my scissors, like really far. Look at this. Like I've got my, I've never realized I do that, but I mean, and I'm holding them really firm. See, I've got my finger in there. How have I never realized that? I, first off, I don't hold scissors like this, but that's because I'm an ex hairdresser, right? So hairdressers actually hold our scissors like this with our pinky rest, but I have literally got my hand sunk in here so far for stability and I've never paid attention to it. And I wonder if that's a tip. I think it might be. Um, I noticed that it makes my, my scissors almost like an extension of my hand and I've never noticed it until this. I guess doing uh, all these little cuts in and out that my hand is sunk in that, in that, hand, in that finger rest, buddy. It is not playing. I am like all the way in it. So maybe that's a tip for you for stability, maybe. Okay, check it out. So you might think this took me a really long time. I really don't know how long it took me, but I filmed the whole process. So uh, Tamitha might can tell you how long the footage was. I don't know. She might can. But my first thought was that I would do something like this, that I would layer on top of this green. Um, and I felt like that would feel kind of shabby chic. You know what I'm saying? Plus you got to use a lot of, we got to do a lot of inking. We got more stuff we got to do. But I thought I could use all of these colors. Look how pretty that is. And then there's my little bud right there. Nope, that's the wrong side. Um, I think this little bud goes over here. So I need one bud for right there. And then what I want to do, let me show you. You remember how I um, stamped on that other color that was kind of a green color? Was it this one that was kind of green? See how that's kind of green? I think what I'm going to do is cut some of the leaves out to kind of place around in this color too. Let's do a test. Like let's cut, let's cut this leaf right here just so I can get kind of a variation of color in the leaves as well. Another thing I could do, and I may do this, is I may just literally color some of those, some of the other leaves. So let's see, where does this guy go? I'll have to find him. Where does he go? He's off of the poppy flower here. There he is. Nope. Is that him? Wow, I can't find him now. There he is. <laughs> It's like, where did he go? So like, I may go through and do that, but I don't know. I may take color pencils and do it. Let's try it with color pencils. I think that'll be even better. Okay, so flowers ready to go. Don't know exactly how they're, they're not exactly ready. We got to ink those, but I want to do a little prepping on my card base. So give me just a second. So for some reason in my mind, a shabby sheet card needs to be five by seven. Now this is not the, the case. 
it's just in my head. So I've dug into my uh, card bases and envelopes and got a five by seven craft color. I think the craft will be pretty for Shabby Chic. And now let's go to that white basic book from Mente. So I've got lace to choose from. I've got wood, like shiplap. You know I love this. Do I wanna mix them? I don't know. The first thing I wanna do though, oh look, I didn't realize that the front and the back, oh no, that was that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off because I want this piece of wood. And I think I wanna do this kind of almost like a tag. I think I wanna use the wood side though. Almost like a tag with some border punches. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's cut this piece down. So I'm cutting it the entire width of the card and then I think I'm gonna cut it down. So this is seven and maybe leave an inch at the top and an inch at the bottom. So maybe a five by five piece. Let's look at that and see what it looks like. Oh, but I wanna do border punches, so I need to extend it a little bit. Let's do five and three quarters. So when I do border punches at the top and bottom, we'll still have, yeah. So that's what I'm thinking there. We're gonna start with that. Let's do some border punching. I couldn't decide if I wanted a really deep punch or a thinner punch. I think let's go all out. Let's do this deep border punch. And what I'm gonna do, what I love about these punches right here is they have these little guidelines here on the edge and I can match them up like I'm center punching. Isn't that awesome? So I'm gonna center that on there and I'm gonna punch. Look how beautiful. See, that feels shabby chic to me. I don't know, I don't have a lot of shabby chic supplies. But what I do have, I'm going to make work, or we're going to try to anyway. You guys can tell me at the end if I was successful or not. Okay, so punch there. One more punch on this end. Now I'll flip it over and do the other side. I'm kind of thinking of this layout. I may change it. I may even do um, more of a bottom layout. I'm not sure. I may end up doing a top and a bottom of the flowers. <laughs> That might be pretty too to have it at the top and the bottom and maybe even turn the card this way. I'm still deciding. I do not know. I'm playing. I'm not good at this shabby chic stuff. I do like the way that looks. And I, I have enough flowers if I cut one more of these to do it at the top and the bottom. That may be a thing. It may be a thing. What I'm going to do real quick though is I want to cut another square because I feel like with shabby chic you're layering a lot. I want to cut another square that will fit inside of here and it might not be square. Four inches looks good. Maybe a little smaller because I want some of that wood to show. So maybe three and a half by, let's see what we want to cover here. Three and a half by three and a half might do it. Let's cut a three and a half by three and a half inch and see what we get. I'm sorry my work surface is getting a little cluttered. My brain is right now. So, okay, three and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to use this linen texture. Can you see that texture in there? It's not really texture. It's just a print. But I'm going to do three and a half by three and a half. And then I'm going to see what it looks like if I punch these corners again, because that's another thing that I find in shabby chic style is a lot of um, kind of lacy look, right? So I'm gonna take this corner punch, which is one of my favorites, this one that does this number here, and I'm gonna go into the corners of this and make it look very shabby. See, isn't that very shabby chic, kind of lacy, kind of doily-esque, I think it is. Do all the sides. And I was thinking this would be a good place to put like a sentiment, right? I was thinking someplace to kind of land it, kind of make it all oh, look. And then when we lift that up, it'll be so pretty. Maybe I want to um, put a mat on this piece so that that really shows. But I think something very pale. Let's go back to the uh, watercolor background book. And let's find something very pale. You know, these have two sides. One's a dark side and one's a light side. That purple is really pale. That green is pretty. I don't want too much green, but I do think the green would be good. Let's cut a piece of the green and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go to this guy. And so that was three and a half by three and a half. So let's cut this one down three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Let's just see how that looks. See how that makes that show so much more. Plus, we're going to ink things. I think I will round these corners with just my regular corner rounder. I told you I was pulling out all the stops. I'm going to pull everything out and try it and see what we get. So, this is my half inch that didn't feel completely open. Let's get in there again. There we go. 
Look how cute that looks. That is perfect. I know it is very pale on camera, but that is perfect. So you'll see even more of that when we go through and we start inking. So this plus this, I don't know, do I want one at the bottom? I'm gonna have to stamp and cut one so we can see. Okay, got a second one cut out. Let's see how our layout looks. So if I keep this here and here, look, I'm still doing these clean line situations, aren't I? It's okay, it's okay. We're still getting a little shabby chic. But this one here, put this one here. I think I'm getting somewhere, guys, and this can go in either direction, and I kind of like it in this direction. All right, I think I'm going to round the corners of my card. They're a little too sharp for me, so we'll do that, and then I want to ink and see what it's looking like. So let's use my corner rounder. I'm going to do it on the half inch, so I get a nice big round all the way around. This, I think, will help to um, soften the card up even more. So let's do this back again. Yeah, see how much softer that is now with the rounded corners? Okay, let's do this. Before we ink, let's do some coloring. I want to do some color pencil coloring in here. Okay, got my color pencils. Look, I have them in this little container. So I'm just going to put them off to the side. I want to do just a variation of green first. So on these leaves, I'm just going to come in here and add some messy color. I'm not like going to be specific about it or anything because I don't plan to do a whole lot on the leaves. I mean, on the petals. I just want some variations in here of this lighter and this darker. So maybe every other leaf, I'm just leave, leave, leave. I'm just going to hit with some of the dark just to give us some movement. You'll see what I mean. It's a little flat without me paper piecing every petal or every leaf. I don't want to paper piece every leaf. That's a lot. I mean, I do want to, but time doesn't allow. <laughs> I do have to leave the craft room at some point. <laughs> so I'm going to run through and do some dark green. And then I'm going to do another color of green. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so two colors of green. Now I'm going to take this Prismacolor blender pencil. This is one that I love and it works. I have found it works with every color pencil I've ever used it with and all this little color pencil that I just laid down. If I take this blender and I come in here, it kind of softens what I did and takes some of my roughness because I literally just scribble color on and then this guy just kind of lays it all down for me and softens it at the same time. So I'm going to run through, like, look, let me show you the difference. So I just did these with the blender. I'll bring them up really close. So I did these with the blender, but you see these I haven't done yet. So see how it kind of pulls the color around for me? It's really neat. Let me do this leaf here that I didn't, didn't do. And I think this will give my leaves the feel of multicolors, obviously, without me having to do any more fussy cutting. Some people say they do this with their white color pencil. So if you don't have the blender and you have the white, you can try that. Sometimes it'll work because, you know, the white doesn't lay down as much pigment, you know, as you think it might. It doesn't lay down a whole lot of white, but some people do that. So there's how that looks. It's very beautiful. I love that. Perfect. Okay, let's do this one. Matter of fact, let me show you really, really close. Okay, so you see this set of leaves right here. All right, I'm going to take it down here. I'm going to blend all these colors out and then bring it back up for you to see the difference. I want to say that these pencils come in a two-pack, so you get enough to kind of last you a good long while. I've never had to replace mine ever. Let me do this one also, since it's kind of there. Okay, so now you can see the difference. It just took that color and spread it around and kind of variegated it. All right, I want to finish this guy up and we'll keep going. All right, let's do our inking. I'm going to use some vintage photo and I'm gonna go around these leaves and ink. And this, I'm using Vintage Photo today because I don't want a super, super, super dark ink, especially on my white colors. You could even use like pink or blue or something else if you didn't wanna use kind of this, uh, you know, vintage -y color. You could mix your colors up in any old way you wanted to and use something lighter. I'm gonna use my Vintage Photo. It's just amazing how that changes things. Just amazing. Look at that, let's compare the two. Just look, and a very light hand of ink. I did not go heavy, but do you see the difference? Look at that. It just kind of cleans it up. It just kind of turns it into a solid piece. And we're going to be putting color on here too, because we're going to be adding those flowers. All right, so I'm going to ink all of this. I'm going to go and ink all of the flowers, and then we'll try to do our layout. Okay, everything is inked. I think it looks beautiful, by the way, including my hands. <laughs> so let me go wash my hands. 
My hands look like I had a bad tan, y'all. <laughs> like I didn't wash my hands after applying. Okay, so let's see what happens here. I want to put a sentiment on the front. And I want that sentiment to live in this little guy. Look at my desk is shabby chic also. I want it to live in here. So let's see what I want to do. I think I want to do um, to my mom. I think you're beautiful inside and out. Is so. Well, I think I'm going to do you're an inspiration on the front. And then I'm going to use that other one on the inside. So let me get a block here. So you're an inspiration. And I'm going to put mom on the front, the word mom also. So let's ink this one up. So you're an inspiration. A little low, because I want to put mom right above it. So let's get mom. Little block. The word mom. Ink it up. Put it here. See, I like that. That looks good. Mom, you're an inspiration. And then, now let's lay everything out. Okay, I'm gonna be using lots of layers, lots of um, dimension, and the reason is, I'm gonna hand deliver this card to my mother. So that's gonna go like that. Y'all, that's pretty like that, okay? But then if we add this set of flowers to the top, this set of flowers to the bottom, and we do our layering, I think I'm doing shabby chic, y'all, am I? I don't know, you gotta tell me. All right, let's get some foam, we're gonna need a lot. We're going to need a lot. Okay, so I may assemble these off and then put them on. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this one directly down. I think that's what I'm going to do, directly down on this guy. So let's put some glue here. Also, I'm not going to glue the lacy edges down. If I'm doing shabby chic, I want those to be kind of lifted. So let's center this up as best we can here. Like so. And let's build our sentiment up. So this guy goes on some foam. I got a piece laying here, so let's use that one first. And then put a little foam at the top, a little foam at the bottom. That'll get this guy popped up. Place this on top of here, just like so. Okay, so just a dry run. This will lay here. I also could do it here. I can't decide. Do I want to do it here and have these guys this way? Do I want to? I could also kind of angle it. Oh, oh, what'd she do just then? What did she just do? Hmm. I kind of like the angle much better. I bet y'all are all screaming it. Angle it, angle it. Then I can put, have one little dolly showing at the bottom here and one little dolly edge showing there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We figured it out. All right, let's glue it down before I forget. This guy's going on an angle right there. Just like so. Let's get it angled nicely here. That looks good. Okay, let's build these guys. It's like, I'm pretty happy, y'all, so far. Okay. So let's foam up the back of these flowers. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll get back so you don't have to watch me do all this foam. Notice I did all of them. I'm not going to need all of them, but I thought it'd be neat to go ahead and have them in case I decide to tuck them somewhere. So I want one of these to be the um, red color, and I think I want the other to be this. It's not red. It's kind of pink. Do the, Be this purpley color and save these for, for either another spot or another project. And then I think I'm gonna do a blue here, and maybe, let's see, a pink here, and then a yellowy, it's kind of yellowy orange there, and then I may need to do a blue down here, just because that's the colors I have. That's pretty, right? That lays out nicely. Okay, let's stick those down. Real quick while I'm here, I'm gonna color those little buds that I, these little flowers down here that I didn't. I don't think I wanna use that color though because let's try some yellow on this green. See if that gets us another pop of color. And it does. So just these little buds that I did not do, I'm gonna do in yellow. I cut some, but I decided I didn't cut enough, you know. So I'll do a couple yellow ones and maybe 
Maybe this pale peachy color. Try not to bring too many new colors into the palette. Let's blend those also. I told y'all I'm pulling out all the stops on this one. I'm, I'm going and going. I'm not even done yet. I'm not even done. All right, I think I'm gonna put little pearls inside the centers of those just for cute, see? All right, let's see what these look like over here. I want to pop them up on here as well. So I've got a little bit of foam left here. Let's get some more. All right, let's put these down. Not exactly sure how they're going, we'll see. We'll play just a second here. So I know one of them was gonna cover one of the little doily edges up, about like that. I like that so far, and then this one. Now I know I have to add glitter, and I know I have to add some pearls or beads or something, right? It just wouldn't be shabby chic if I didn't, right? What if that kind of nestled like that? Isn't that pretty to have the, the lettering kind of nestle? I think I'm gonna run underneath and just kind of put a little glue here. I don't know if I need to, I think I'm not, no I'm not. See, that was me trying to get everything perfect, I'm not. With shabby chic, I want it to lift. And, and do in places, right? Okay, let's decide. Do we want to tuck these in for even more? I do not know. I don't know if we need them. I was thinking it might be pretty under the leaves. If I needed more, oh, that's pretty. I like that one there for sure. Let's see what this one does, maybe under here. And I'm, I can always, you know, trim it and tuck it even further. See, let me show you. I can always um, take my scissors and say trim this base off and see if we can tuck in even more. See if we can get it underneath. Oh, yeah, look. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Shabby chic, is it more is more? Y'all tell me, those of you who love doing it, tell me, is more is more? I know it's not more is more, but sometimes it is, right? Sometimes it feels like it is. My mom's going to love this card. I've never made one like this. She's going to be like, what? Who made this card? She's not going to believe I did it. She's not going to believe it. Let's get that one tucked like I had it because I really like the way it was. Here we go. Right under there. All right, how about these little guys? We got them. Should we use them? Let's see. Let's see what they look like. So, I kind of think it might be pretty to bring some of this yellow under here. Oh, look. It's pretty, right? I think so. I think so. Now I'm whispering. Why am I whispering? I'm being Bob Ross. Okay. We're just painting with cutouts. There's one. And then let's try some purple up here. Since I don't have a lot of, I don't have any purple up there, let's bring some to this corner. Do I want to bring it under here and over? Under and over. See what I did there? All right, and then, is this pink? It is. I mean, we've got them. Nope, too close to the same color. Let's put it under there. Look how beautiful that's turning out. Wow, y'all. I didn't know I had it in me. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having a good time with this. I'm glad for the challenge. I'm glad for the challenge. All right, let's put another one up here, just because I think it can use it right in here. I think it can support that. Wow, I'm in love with how that's turning out. Okay, let's do some embellishment. So I dug through my embellishment little bag there that I have, and I found these guys, and I think I will put these around. Let's see, let me find something I can cut really easily. Let's do these. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. Not super many, because I don't want it to be all about the pearls. I really want it to be all about the flowers, but I think it needs some of this as well, so. These are sticky. These have a lot of adhesive on the back of them. And so I have to kind of be careful where I put them. I know I wanted one here on these little buds. Remember how I told you I was going to let that be the centers? So I'm going to do that real quick. So I got those little buds stuck down. And now I'm sticking two just on that little doily just to add a little bit of something. And now I'm going to aqua shimmer it. I think aqua shimmer is the way to go. I might even would prefer to do like a Nouveau drop, but I think this will work just fine. I've got to be careful. Now, why do I have to be careful? Because I used um, Distress Ink, which moves with water. So I wanna be careful. So I want to dot and not rub this on. And I really don't care if it covers the whole thing. Just gonna get some pretty shimmer here and there. And I'm gonna concentrate that shimmer in the centers where it's light. 
if that makes sense, where the light is. You might be wondering why I keep reaching off screen. Here's what I do. I squeeze a little bit of this out onto my work surface and then I kind of dip into it like it's paint and I find I get a really pretty coverage when I do that. Again, just concentrating on where the light is on these flowers. Oh, I got a lot out that time, but it's okay. I'll use all of that. Put it in the centers here because I don't want to take away from my dark edges. And I also need to do the leaves a little bit. It's pretty on the edges like that a little bit. So just paint it up, get some glitter here and there. Now all I need is something for the inside and I got an idea. So this is a piece of that um, basics paper and it's the brick version. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the front. I did it the same size and I'm gonna put this on the inside to mimic the front. And then I'm gonna put my sentiment directly in the middle of this. And because I'm using this white brick, I can even write on it. I think that'll be pretty. I didn't ink the inside. Oh well, I should have. I didn't, I forgot to, but I don't think it's gonna really matter that much because I'll be writing in there anyway. Okay, am I done? Let me evaluate. Okay, so here's what I was evaluating. So the question is to bow or not to bow? And let me show you, I tied this teeny tiny little green bow and I think it would be pretty right here. But what I'm gonna do is let you guys tell me in the comments, bow or no bow. And if you like the bow, I'll glue it right there. If you don't, we won't do a bow and mom will get it with or without the bow, depending on what you decide, okay? So what do you think? Did I shabby chic it? Did I make it happen? My, um, my, Glitter is a, is maybe a little messy. I don't know. I might do that purple flower a little more and kind of clean that up. But that's it. I think it's as shabby chic as I know how to do. <laughs> so thank you, Tracy, for the inspiration to step outside my box. And I think I really did. And um, I really love how this looks. I think mom will enjoy this card. I don't think she's ever had one quite like this, especially not from me. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I want to see your style of crafting. You can share with us over on our um, customer gallery at mememadeit.com or on our Discord so we can see what you guys craft like. I want to see it. I enjoy seeing what you guys make and how you craft and what your style is. So head over there and share with us. I just can't stop. I just can't stop. I think I'm just going to cover all the spaces in. But let me see what you guys do. So head over there and do that. Also, guys, we are so close to 300,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. Click the button. It's free. You don't have to do anything, but click the little red button, and that gives me another subscriber so we can get to 300,000, so we can have a big old giveaway. I got some stuff in mind I want to do, but I got to get to 300,000 before I can, so help us out. Thanks so much for being here today, guys, and until next time, bye now.